hello all you foolish mortals and my friendly ghosts and welcome back to my channel. Today is Halloween and that can only mean tricks and treats. But because I'm very sure your life is a big trick, I'm gonna offer you a treat. Where am I? A poison apple might have slipped through my fingers to this devilishly delicious and sinfully good apple pie. I actually have it here already. It is baked and smells like the sweet death all of you doomed souls are going towards too. But while you're still alive, why not bake this? Because I thought I would share the wonderful recipe I have for this pie. So if you're ready to see that and be spooked, continue watching. But if not, oh, I understand that all of us are made for this wonderful season of spooks and Halloween. So excuse yourself, maybe I'll see you later. Who knows? But if you're brave and ready, Let's get into the recipe. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll see everything on screen, but I'll be writing all the measurements down below. This is an apple pie, so obviously you need some apples, but you'll also need some brown sugar, some vegan butter, some baking powder, soy yogurt, flour, and my favorites, cinnamon and cardamom. I know that must be a lot for you, but don't worry, we're gonna start easy with just the butter, the soy yogurt, and the brown sugar. Take a big bowl and start measuring the butter. It's supposed to be room temperature, so be sure that you have taken the, the butter to kind of soften and warm up and what fuzzy things you people say about butter some time before baking. Then we'll take the brown sugar and measure that and just dump it in. Just like that. Just like trash. Just like your life. <laughs> and because uh, you mortals don't use magic, uh, we'll take an electric mixer and start mixing that up. Oh, how easy this would be with magic. Um, well, anyway, let's move on. Then measure the soy yogurt and keep mixing. Ah, oh, I hate this noise. It's so loud. Not l anything like magic. At this point, the batter kind of looks goopy and odd, but don't worry, let's move on to uh, the dry ingredients and just forget the, the goop for a bit. And focus on measuring the flour, the baking powder, and the cardamom. Oh, this is my favorite part because it starts smelling so good and mix all the flowers together before we take the goop back to the table. Little by little, start mixing the flowers into the wet ingredient batter. I'm sorry, at some point you'll have to move from the electric mixer to a spoon. Very, very basic, but that's what you are. And keep doing that until the batter looks as good as mine does here and tastes as good. <laughs> and then, it's my favorite part. Cutting the apples because I get to hold a knife. <laughs> I mean now when I'm hanging out with you mortals um, I get to use a knife because usually I just do this with magic Cut 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 all the apples into thin slices and when you're done take the dish that you're gonna use to bake your pie in, take some butter, this is a bit yucky because again, no magic mortals, and just massage your pie dish with that butter so your pie doesn't stick to it. And then just scoop all of your batter out of the bowl and spread it everywhere to the sides as well because we want a nice crust. After all, the dough here is actually the best part of this pie. And then probably the most important thing before we put this into the oven, take the apples and start um, assembling them on the pie. Make it spooky, make it pretty, do whatever, as long as the apples are gonna be on the pie. Sprinkle some brown sugar on the top, this will give it a lovely, very, very wonderful and sweet caramelly taste. And then cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. I mean, if you don't like cinnamon, put less, but... I am a woman of taste, so cinnamon and lots of it is. Finally, we get to bake our masterpiece. So yeah, just put it into an oven that is set to 200 degrees Celsius and bake it for 30 minutes. 
Oh, look at this beauty. She's golden brown, smells sweet and appley. I would recommend letting the pie chill for a bit after uh, coming from the oven, but then feel free to taste and eat the whole thing because this is something you just simply cannot resist. Ah, oh, isn't that wonderful? Such a beautiful pie in such a little time, and not even that many ingredients. Though poison apples are not so easy to find, so good luck. <laughs> I, of course, had to take a piece. Mmm, wonderful. Not often is the crust the best part of the pie. This tastes like... Silly me, I was going to say heaven, but I think I meant the opposite. <laughs> I am very pleased you decided to join me on this wonderful spooky night and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you for watching and the next time we'll see will be very soon, unless some of us don't make it through the night. <laughs> so goodbye!